just firstly, just how are you and, and how are you feeling in yourself? Yeah, feeling good. Uh, try and keep positive. Um, obviously, they're tough, long weeks uh, with the injury, but no, I'm remaining positive and, and hopeful. So. And just how's, how's recovery going? How are you? Yeah, really good. Um, sort of been, been working hard and sort of reaping the rewards now. I'm, I'm feeling good and feeling strong. So, yeah, it's, it's progressing nicely. Yeah, whereabouts are you in terms of training, running, that kind of thing? Um, I'm just over four months now post op. Um, so, I've pretty much done a lot of gym work recently. Um, and I've, I've just recently got back out on the pitch. I didn't uh, get that. Could you try again? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I just got back on the pitch recently. Uh, sort of straight line running, uh, distance running, just to try and get my knee used to it again. Just go back to that day when the, when the injury happened. Just from your perspective, when it happened, did you, you know, did you ever suspect it would be be what it was? Uh, no, not really. Um, obviously, the the contact happened, and I felt I felt a little little pull or a snap. Um, no pain, so I sort of carried on in the game. Didn't didn't really suspect too much. Um, it was only until the the, the sort of night time that I sort of knee was swelling and sort of got a lot more pain. So um, yeah, didn't really suspect nothing at first, but obviously results from the scan came back, and and obviously it, it came to fruition. Just one of those where you just thought it was a, a bit of a bump and you'd, you'd get through it. And... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you take you take lots of them in the games, and I've, I've had contacts like, contacts like that before in games, and I've been fine. So I just thought it was another one of them, but unfortunately, uh, results obviously showing it was ACL. So. And we obviously we spoke about Danny Doe. It came just just a month after he did his. Mm. So you'd obviously seen what had happened to him, and then to to have it happen to you. Yeah, it's it's crazy, really. Obviously. Physio spoke about it and says it's, it's unheard of two players sort of doing it that close to each other, um, but it's been a bit of a blessing in disguise really that we're, we're both doing it and going through it together. So no, it's it's been good. And when you found out what the the injury was, obviously it's one of the, the worst ones you can get as a footballer. What was kind of your just initial reaction and feelings? Um, yeah, so I had, I had to scan. Uh, I think the day after the game and. And was in the next morning after the scan, and sort of gaffer pulled me in the office and told me the news, and it was just a bit overwhelming. Really, got got a bit teary, a bit upset, and gaffer was gaffer was brilliant, put his arm around me and said said everything could be fine. So, yeah, just just upset initially, but I think once the news sort of settled in, it was just sort of focus on on getting back. Yeah, how was the the manager and how have your teammates been since then? Yeah, really good. Gaffer's been brilliant. He he keeps us in the loop and keeps us involved with the boys and the boys are obviously every day I'm around them in the gym and stuff so now they've, they've all been brilliant. And away from the club of your, your family and, and you, you know you spoke about your girlfriend they've been really yeah. supportive. Yeah really supportive yeah they're always they're always there for me they they travel home and away when we play and yeah now they've been they've been brilliant as well. And we mentioned Dan obviously him being just just like kind of month ahead of you was he someone that you kind of leaned on and, and spoke to a lot? Yeah, hundred percent. We've we've definitely become closer friends, and we get on really well now. And um, yeah, I I come to him for information and little bits of advice that, that he's found helpful. So yeah, we, we sort of bounce off each other. And away from football, what's helped you? Has it been good to kind of switch off and and not you know dwell too much on it? Yeah, exactly that. Um, it just gives you a bit more freedom. Obviously, when the boys are away, we sort of have a bit of time off over the weekend, which which allows me to go home and see family, which I can't can't really do too often. So. No, it's been good just, just trying to just fill them days off, really. You mentioned that when you, when you got told the news of being just upset about it and frustrated. You know, how much of an effect has that had on you and, and what was that like? Yeah, obviously it was it was devastating news, but I've, I've sort of just put it to the back of my mind now and just, like I said before, just trying to progress on and focus on the end goal, really. Yeah, and, and you and Danny have been doing recovery stuff together and work together? Yeah, I think, um, like, sort of, he was a month ahead of me, but we're sort of, coming together now a little bit where we're sort of doing similar things so yeah it's good to work work together and get through it and especially you you know you're only young yourself it's a big injury to have at mm. a young age yeah exactly yeah i'm only i'm only 23 and sort of last season was my first full season in the league and i really enjoyed myself and i sort of played a lot of minutes and wanted to carry that on this season really but these things happen in football and you just got to sort of get back as strong as you can and, and hope it never happens again yeah, did that kind of add to the frustration? Like you said, you've had you know one full season. You were starting pretty much mm -hmm. every game, you know, up until that point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed last season. Sort of, like I said, it's my first full season really, 
Um, and yeah, just wanted to carry it on this year, but it didn't happen. And hopefully next year I can sort of carry on with that. And Bob, we've seen the you know the play has been fantastic. The results have been great. Mm. Is that you know as as good as it is? You just want to be in part of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's obviously I, I root for the boys every weekend. I, I want them to win every game, and they're doing brilliant. To be fair. Um, but yeah, like you said, I just just want to be involved in it and, and sort of push push forward with them. Yeah, do you think that's helping with them. You know, the, the, every time we come to the training ground, you know, the atmosphere is fantastic. You can hear the music, you can hear everyone, you know, up for it. Is that help you as well, just to, to keep yeah. going? Yeah, of course. Yeah, the boys the boys are brilliant. It's such a such a tight group, and everyone gets on really well. And sort of that that energy just I like, sort of feed off it. And when they come into the gym and they're all, they're all bubbly, and it helps me get through my rear. Tell us a little bit about the manager as well and what, what he's been like because I know he's had two ACLs as well so he's yeah. obviously been able to, to relate. Yeah exactly yeah he's, he's really good to go and talk to he, obviously like I said he's been through it as well so any advice we need he, he's there and um, yeah he always comes and checks in on us and sort of sees how we're doing so yeah he's been really good. And what's next for you? Why, what's next in the recovery? Uh, I think just more running really um, sort of building my confidence back up running um, I think then you progress on to sort of a little bit of ball work and change of direction and stuff. So yeah, just just progressing with running really. Do you ever worry about it? Is it ever like in the back of your mind when you're starting to do stuff that, you know, it, it, it happened and it, it can happen again, God forbid mm. that it does, but it could and do you ever think about that? Yeah, it's so, sort of something that's always in the back of your mind is, is one of those injuries that sort of if you don't do it properly, it, it will sort of happen again. Um, so I think that's just my motivation, really, just make sure I do everything proper and to the best I can do it, and then hopefully it, it won't happen. Yeah, how much is it that you, you don't want to rush yourself back, but you, you want to be back and you want to be mm. playing, but you don't want to... Yeah, it. yeah, it's a frustrating injury, really, because you, you get to a point where you do feel pretty normal. Like, now I, I, I'd say I feel pretty normal. I can do a lot in the gym and I'm, I'm back running, and you sort of want to push on a bit further, but um, I think with this injury, it is nine months, and you can't sort of return any any sooner, so you sort of get that in your head and, and stick to the time frame. You mentioned time frame, Is there, have you got a, a, a goal that you, you're going for? Yeah, I think hopefully um, maybe be back in training this, this season, end of the season, just sort of non-contact, building confidence and then go away for the summer, like a lot of work obviously, and then back in for pre-season as normal. Ready to go again next season? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Perfect, thank you. Thank you.